will eat mummified demon heart, but this is too far. Merrick, you need to get some rest oh, and not be <laughs> messing around with this nonsense. No, I must. Go back to sleep. If you're, if you, this is what you're gonna do with your waking this hours. This is why you never my heal. Body you is spell burn weak, every day. Chofin, but my mind is active. Wait, did you spell burn yesterday? No. Okay. Yeah, because you keep this up, you're gonna never heal up everything. Yeah, every don't day don't you dare spell burn today. <laughs> These. These mortals tell I me will, a wizard what I to will do. I will strap you to the bed, man, <laughs> if I have to. Give you, give you a vodka. Get your IV. rest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna like shoot you up with uh, a morphine or whatever that's wrong. But people said. Anyway, so uh, what's next? We're heading out. Okay. <clears throat> See you guys. It's a Dodger and Joe. Show. That's what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> okay. So you guys leave the Duohan. You know, are you? What are you bringing with you? Just your. Uh, or have your gear. Oh, you have gear and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys are going. Written yeah. down. Of course, we're going. Go. So you're gonna go and you're gonna do fungus. Well, we're not gonna stay here at the pub right, and like play yeah. Scrabble though. Without while you're out, like doing. Did what do you think? Gonna... Should we should we try and collect some fungus for ourselves at, what, while we're out? Oh it? yeah. Oh yeah. Of, of course. course. <laughs> good. Why we're not? on the same it's page. Good stuff. We're gonna bring our pipes. Okay. Um, so so we we make sure we have like an. Like even an exceeding amount of jars and like Sacks. containers yeah. to, to hold things. Okay. Like I'm gonna like up my I guess flask and flask and bag count. Yeah, you guys, you guys can each get three additional flasks. Sweet. That makes sense. Boom. You just borrow them from the bars. Yeah. You know. Um. So you guys head out of the Dulahan. It's a bright sunny morning in Lear. It's just coming up over the. We were still the, the pre-adventuring song. Yeah. Horizon. Is what like yeah. yeah, no, it's just coming over the uh, the the Prixis Inlet. I was trying to remember oh, which okay. side of the world we were on. Pixis? The pyramid. Prixis. Um I thought it was Pixis. Yeah. <laughs> like general no. Pixis. No. Well anyway, so you guys head out. Uh, the sun catches the glints on the canals and shines off the water. Oh. And uh, oh. you guys make your way towards the door in Athacordia, which you know would lead, or on near Willow Lake, which you know leads down to Athacordia. Yep. Are we Close meeting in the underground? Well, or are we meeting above ground? The keepers told you that they could assist you as far as um, partway through Athacordia. But once you got to the tower, you were on your own. Oh, I didn't realize mm -hmm. we were going to be on our own. Yeah. Unsupervised. I know. Really? That's the key. That's, I'm, I'm surprised they're, they're giving us that much autonomy. Because they're scared. They story. are? Well, have you met the other keepers? Many of them are just like random dudes. It's like, look, it's the I, fish guy. Look, I, I don't believe that, that there aren't like, you know, some really powerful people. Yeah, the but the high level keepers but... seem like they all have like real cool jobs. Like, oh, who are you? I'm a general in the Yeah, army. maybe they're just like, like busy all the time. Yeah. They might be powerful, but they're, they don't have time for this nonsense. Yes. Oops. They're either n too powerful or not powerful or not. Like, the, I don't know. It's always middle management. That's the hardest to do. I would be scared with. of the keepers. So the door in Athacordia, um, you know, opens to your letter open or response, and it sh slides open as before, and you see the steps leading down. Mm -hmm. and you descend down into the depths. Uh, after a little bit of time, you come out on the other side, entering once again into Maceatica down in the Undercroft. And around you, you can see the rising aqueducts with the canals are built out above, the crumbled buildings, the damp air-like smell, and the sea salt wind of the sea coming from above and just... The We've gotten here long enough. It feels like home now. Yeah. Are, like there, still, like are there still those um sentient metal orbs like repairing? Yep. The they're always ceiling? there. Okay. Cool. They're floating around, shining off lights and stuff, fixing things, melding into the aqueducts. Um, That's so, cool. uh, as you move down into Athacordia, you you're moving through some of these shadowy buildings, and you're like, wait, where is Malubio's tower again? Like you're trying to figure it out, and then mm -hmm. you you look to the south, and you can see. Do we this. actually have a map of the un the undercroft? You don't. You can just took a look at one once. Yeah. Then? Okay. You can I see made this, a rough one. You can see this tower on a rise, like away up on a hill on the edge of the Athacordia. Mm -hmm. You're like, and you remember Frederick before telling you that that was Malubio's tower, and you're like, all right, we can head is, that way. Is there a light source down here, or do we have to carry a torch? You'd have to carry a torch. Okay. Unless I'm, you're catching I'm, the light. From I'm the carrying a torch. Okay. So you're carrying a torch, and eventually as you start to move through the cracked and crumbled buildings, you see a, you see a couple of shadows following you from either side. Oh, Adriel immediately notices that these guys aren't exactly the best of sneakers. They're a little sloppy. and uh, Or a little floppy? What? You, as in their feet might 
They're as frogs. Like, as oh, frog. like the frogs. No, because they seem shorter than the frog people. And mm-hmm. after a little bit of time, you see a halfling mm-hmm. emerge from behind one of the shadowy, the craft buildings as you guys walk down an alleyway. Mm-hmm. And he steps out from behind and goes, Oh there. Greetings. Who goes there? Uh, my name is Jovin, and this is Dabriel. Uh, we are on an expedition. And he looks at the two of you and he goes, Oh, oh, yes, 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 I was told you would be coming. Uh, pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. My name is Hobalt Doodil. Oh, uh, an excellent name. Hobalt, Hobalt for sure. I, I say disingenuously. Yeah, I, I, I don't bother to say guys with people with their little last names. So yeah. like, like, Ho- Hobalt I, 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 do- I would just Doodil? Right. Yep, Doodil. Is a D. D e w d i l l. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> and we gesture as if you know how sometimes you see someone across the street that you kind of know and not sure. It's like a half wave. Yeah, it's like, like hey, who are yeah. you? <laughs> it's like, this guy's got curly brown hair and a oh. variety of facial and probably body scars. You'd imagine looking at his hands and stuff, hands and feet. So he's like a fighter halfling. He looks like he's been roughed up a couple of times. And he looks, he looks back and forth to the two of you, and he's wearing, like, he's, he's not wearing a keep robe, but he's wearing, like, a, like, leather armor that's kind of, like, got a couple of buckles missing, and it's rough and worn. And he's, uh, oh. he's, he looks at you guys, and he goes, so I heard you're heading over to Maluvio's tower. Certainly. That's what Frederick informed me of. Anyway. Yeah, is it, is it that one over there? Mm-hmm. The one? Okay. And he points off to it, and he goes, Good, we were right. So, uh, so what's the sitch? Like, what, what exactly are you guys looking for? Secret mission. Well, I mean, wait. I'm he was, kind of he was warden. told we were coming. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of the warden of this area. I mean, I just need to know. Why wouldn't Frederick have told you? Oh, he leaves things out all the time. Frederick's a little bit of a scatterbrain. Really? Well, they have Seems they like... have something specific that we're there to to fetch. Have you like... ever noticed talking to him that he uses the wrong words for things all the time? I just figured he wasn't well read and didn't understand vocabulary. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just didn't have that much respect for him because of that. Most people from the streets aren't good at that. My dad just taught me well. He made me read books whenever Proper we were Proper education around. is important. Yeah, just because you're begging doesn't mean you have to be a moron, Dad, you saw, I'd I, say. Yeah, he probably was just homeschooled or something. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Our viewers are like, what's up with those guys? It's like, the more you know, now for analysis of public education. <laughs> well, Actually, yeah. Maybe just went to public school. <laughs> think about it. Well, uh, well. Anyway, uh, so you two are going there to look for mushrooms, <clears throat> right? And he looks as if he's searching your faces for some sort of a reaction. Completely blank. Yeah, and uh, he goes right. Okay. I mean, do you do you want us to look for mus- like? Do you need some mushrooms? Cause I know a guy. Look. All I'm saying is we sent agents in there before, but it's rough in there. We're not fighters, and we've run up against opposition. There's a creature inhabiting the place, and it doesn't like it when people mess around in there. So just be careful. What? I why, are we, why are we hearing this from you and not from Frederick? He didn't tell us about such a creature. Because I'm the warden of this area, and Frederick doesn't care. Maybe he left it up to you to explain. So can, what can you tell us about this creature? Well, not much, t- to be honest. We've never actually seen him. Most of our keeper agents die going through the, uh, going through the gardens at the start. <clears throat> But anyway, uh, look, all you got to do is be careful of giant insects. Just watch out for a bunch of beetles. We've seen those guys rotting, you know, running around. Um, although one thing is, if you can manage to get in there, so a couple of, like, maybe about a month or two back, some Stroom Barbarians fought their way in there, and they killed this, uh, I don't know what it was. It's a, it's a freaky magical beast or something. And they didn't come back out. You know, the thing destroyed them too. But anyway, if you can get in there, maybe they have some gear on them still, you know find some stuff that's kind of what we're hoping by the way <coughs> why don't little, we have backup <laughs> yeah i'm a little curious so you're the warden right yeah well stream by rains fought their way into the tower yeah kill the magical beast uh-huh. didn't come out how well, do you know oh well our keeper agents so you see they make it the in- ones who never come up well they make it in there every now and then but we have kind of the ability to you know view previous so. right mm, yeah okay that makes sense. the story seems to have some holes in it but sure so what would it take for you, to, or to convince you to accompany us, uh, to, uh, to aid us in this. Oh, I'm not going in there. Uh-uh, no way, man. Is, is <laughs> what that, about that, for... You, you look like you might have tried in the past. 200 gold pieces. No! This guy's oh, not okay, worth okay. gold. Are you mad? Fine. Well, 50? How are you just giving gold away? Are you having this I'm argument? I'm right to run. Yes. Okay. Yeah, do you, we're right do there. You, don't you want some assistance? 
He looks this like, sounds look like... Look at this guy! Let me, let, me just, let me just stop you right there. I'm not going in for any amount of money, all right? I've seen too many of my, uh, uh, well, soldiers, I guess, technically, I don't know, die going in there. Look, keepers, we're smart, okay, but we're not fighters. We, we don't... We shouldn't be going in there in the first place. That's why you guys are going in. Right, we're but what, keepers too, you know. Yeah, but you're you're you know. We're I mean we're the most trained. battle adept keepers in the on hand. You're the probably. most battle adept keeper. I mean, from I wouldn't you, say you're not battle adept. I mean, but, from what I hear, you guys survived an expedition expedition to Death Shore, right? With so a lot like, of help from an experienced dwarven. We had a cyanosis with us. Oh uh, sure, 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 but you still survive. That's the point. Right, I mean, but why friends. don't? Where are the high? Where is the hired muscle to accompany us? Yeah, you think there'd there, be a war there troll be, here? Yeah, or something. there should be like a like a mind controlled troll or like a bunch of barbarians that have just been hired out or yeah, something. That's the thing. You are the hired muscle. Everybody else is kind of We're not hired. We're part of the organization. Well, everybody else is kind of tied up right now. If you know what everybody? I, mean. I, I said it from the I beginning. I was led to believe that this was an important operation. I said it from the beginning. The Keepers is the worst one. Keepers Look, are terrible. Re- resources are just a little tight, okay? They don't have a presence in the city. They don't no, I think what happened team. was that... They don't They don't have any political pressure. They don't have any like financial No, no, this is actually why I'm convinced pressure. of... The keepers have worked so hard to be underground and mysterious mm. that they use that whole terrorist cell thing where the cells don't know about the other cells and that only the one guy at the very top. And then one day he just died or disappeared all of a sudden and they lost track <laughs> of everyone else. So the keepers are actually the most powerful and most invasive group of all. But nobody but really they can't knows work enough. together. Yeah, to because be they have no idea active. like who else well, might be a keeper. It's like, similar to what happened. So actually, you oh, guys know that they were routed. So like oh. they they were they were kind of a like new they deal. went to ground and there are all these little cells. Well, the, Wait, the they, problem was is that they the, played the they, they played the illuminators against the barbarians mm. and the, the both sides figured it out uh-huh. and they were like okay we're gonna beat you down now and they yeah. routed them and basically drove the keepers down. So the keepers still have some connections that they had in place from when they were, you know, yeah. making moves. Oh, is that common knowledge like in Lear? <clears throat> it's like Dadriel's lived here I, for a while and figured figure it out. It was that. in the primer when we yeah. first started the adventures. Um, that would be why I don't but they, but they, got, they got they got routed. And so that's why they have all these things where they're like, Oh, we set these up back when we were kinda of big and now yeah. we're, you know like the, the we're okay, shadow okay. of I mean that makes sense. Yeah. Did they you watch Marvel Agents of Shield? No, like, not no. the second season. Yeah. In the in the series, eventually yeah, Hydra yeah. gets rolled in. It's like in the movies too. And then what mm-hmm. happens is that both Hydra and Shield go to ground, and it turns out there are just pockets of Hydra and Shield everywhere now. Like there's yeah. still massive numbers of them, but every little cell went to ground, so nobody actually knows how many of them there are. And it turns out that it's good for the story because like whenever you need, you get like, oh, it happens. There's more Hydra. It's like how do you know? It's like there's just thousands of them. There, same is, thing with there is always more. <laughs> yeah, and it's the same thing with Shield. Like every time they turn around, there's another like Shield faction that's gone to hiding, thinking <laughs> everyone else is still Hydra. So it's like it's like that. It's such a massive organization that when the head goes away, they lose track of their bookkeeping. Yeah, and then everyone's. They just... did. They did imply in that intro scene in Ultron that they yeah. had been going through like tons of Hydra I, uh, I... installations and finding just more and more everywhere. Yeah, so the keepers have actually gone to ground. Okay. In in some ways, but it's not because they don't communicate. Yeah. It's because they've been. Right. Yeah, they can communicate via slug. Yeah, right? they yeah. they're actually the most communicative faction, okay. probably. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But they're also keepers, so. Uh, so th- but they so can't like communicate does this, to us. Yeah. Does this answer? Because remember, mm. originally we were thinking, can we just reach other keepers? Right. Um, and... It made so when you guys first got the uh, oh. the slugs, mm-hmm. Datho said you'll develop other abilities as time goes on. Mm. Those haven't presented themselves See, yet. We yeah, we've only been are, like given information via slug. You are yeah, level people. one keeper. After you donate about ten thousand gold, you become right. a level two keeper. I need more aw stones before I can level you. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're, we're look. What's you that, have to what's complete that, three challenges. What's and... that? Like. Retarded cult that uh, Tom Cruise belongs to. So yeah, we're like Scientologists. So it was like, oh Look, my gosh, we, we just lost seven viewers. Sorry, but you are in the cult. Get out. Don't be idiots. Seven whole viewers? There can't be that many people who watch this show who are intelligent and actually still be in Scientology. Many? Plus, I'm pretty sure if they're watching our channel, no, I'm, I'm surprised that seven whole them. people uh, are in that group. I don't think I don't think any Scientology members would be watching our show. Yeah, they're probably not allowed yeah, they, to watch YouTube videos. They're probably dip, like, driven away by our intense it. logic. I mean, they, yes. it's like they do it for taxes, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah. all your money to the church. Yeah, yeah. all right. The church doesn't uh, get taxes. You just have to be, you know. That's true. We're sorry. To the church. We're sure there are no Scientologists <laughs> watching because you wouldn't be allowed to watch YouTube because there might be intelligence there. I don't know. It is. It's YouTube. <laughs> anyway. Happy New Year. 
Whatever. <laughs> so Holbot stands in front of you and he goes, yeah, so, uh, but good luck. I mean, definitely important for the success of the entire mission. Hobot okay, Boober. yeah, Ho Hobalt Doodill. <laughs> Did you say dick boob? Yes. I, I like I, that I, better. Call yes, him, call like, him ho, uh, ho, bag, uh, ho bag dick boob. boob. That's right. I'm, going, I'm, that's I'm, my I'm, new I'm putting that in quotes right here. Ho that's bag right. dick boob. Dr. Hunter's made call him like ho bag dick boob. Because he... I'm going to remember that. This is great. Okay. <laughs> so he like said, he, he's, he's getting oh, annoyed um, at this point. Okay, because so, I'm annoyed that he keeps asking us questions. So again, about him. the creature, you said giant insects. Yes, Vito. Um, yeah. Stream Barbarians went in there. That's all you got. Uh, that's about it. Um, that can you, can you tell us more about, uh, the wizard who lived here? Maluvio? Yeah, he studied fungus. I don't know, guy was that some was kind of bio wizard or whatever. Deal. Life wizard. Life oh, wizard. That makes plant sense. Wizard. Like the giant insects, then. How do I know about wizards? In our day, we call them biomancers. Master biomancers. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway. They could, one, yeah, they, look, could, okay. they could win the game if you yeah. control Point is... <laughs> I'm only down here to make sure you guys get safely up to the the border surrounding his tower, and then you can, you know, so you can expect my agents, which of course you didn't know were here. You did. You. It was very obvious they were around. Which of course you didn't know were nearby to be wa to be watching you as you head up to the tower. Um, so don't worry about safety from you know anything up to that point. But after that, you're on your own. Now, uh, if you excuse me, I have other business to attend to. Best of luck. What possible other business do you have? You're guarding this tower where no one ever goes to it. I, I have a lot of things to it, too. All right, important. all right. Sure. Looks like we're going to have to proceed alone, then. Because we can't convince this toe bag to join yeah, us. Having sound on on your cell phone during <laughs> a session. How dare you? you? At least I don't read my phone Wait, during a session. I'm oh, not, my I'm not a part of the scene, yeah, so yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm also listening. It's just tacky. What's going on. It's just tacky. Like chewing gum in the theater. Yeah. Anyway. Um... Wait for it. Uh, okay. So, yeah. So, what are you guys up to? Okay. Um, we're just going to yeah, we're going to wander. We are not the okay. ridiculous kind of adventurers that goes 10 feet at a time searching for traps. Right. So, a whole no, gets out of but, the way. Uh, you are. Do you, do you You're think exactly should, that. <laughs> do you think we should go without light, or should I carry this torch? Can you see? Wait, is it completely we're both, pitch black? We're both we both human. Have, we, well, I have night vision now. Oh, you do? Is it yeah, entirely pitch black? Oh, man. No, it's it's not entirely pitch black. There's the lights from the spheres above. Yeah. I'll probably take, like, a minus to light, do things. But to, really, like, to read anything, you'd have to have a light. How how bad would it be for Joven if we didn't have a torch? Like, can I hit he, things in combat? Do I take a minus or something? You, you take a minus. He, you, you, he needs you leading him. All right, let's 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 have a torch, then. Because okay. we need you to be able to see okay. clearly. Yeah. Oh, can I affix the torch to myself such that I don't have to carry it? Uh, if yeah. I if I were if I want to wield the two handed sword, <laughs> say. Do you have an apparatus for doing so? Well, mm, you have to specifically set one up, otherwise. Okay. It's dead. Does now torches are fueled via like oil, oil soaked the, right? Yeah, so you can yeah. toss them on the ground and they'll still burn. Yeah. And it's a, there's a chance, chance they'll burn. This isn't that bad game chance. where like the torch bear. Or I torch mean, bear, I yeah, I just right. I've never like actually tried to you know, you, you can keep set track torches, of a light source. You can set torches down and you'll yeah. be fine. Joven okay. is a good enough man and a decent enough compatriot that I will carry his torch. Okay, there you go. Because sure. I do not I mean, wield the two handed. Yeah, I guess if, since you wield if them. If Nick we'll... is in front, you should wield the torch. So yes. that he can see better. Yes, because unlike mm. all the bad tropes, no one carries the it's torch crazy. like this in the We went camping and like I had a lantern. I was like, oh, okay, time to use the lantern. I did this. Can't see a fucking thing. Yep. Gotta, yep. gotta hold it like yep. this. Okay. Movies lie to us about everything. Oh, yeah, because then you're blinded by yeah. light. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I could see something really well if it was two feet in front of me. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, when you said lantern, I figured one of those, like, focused lanterns with just the one light. Uh, yep. No, it was yeah. Those are right. good. Those, that would have been good. Yeah. Those are okay. But, you know. Yeah, so I'm going to carry the torch okay, in that sounds space cool. slightly um, behind him. Okay. Are you going to hold it behind you, too, so you can see? Or do to you get blinded? Right okay. So you guys progress forward through the city towards the uh, towards the tower, and you can see as you get closer that there's a wrought iron fence circling the tower's boundaries, and the tower is actually built into uh, the tower in the courtyard is actually built into the wall of Macy Atticus, so like the side wall of this huge cavern that Macy Atticus encompasses. The tower mm -hmm. actually comes out of it; it's part yep. of it. So the fence is like a semicircle. Right? Yeah, yeah, a semicircle going around a jagged semicircle, and all along the fence, as you move up, you notice there's a whole bunch of tangled vines and vegetation, so thick that you can almost not see the fence bars itself. Mm. Um, there is a rusty wicker gate 
uh, up at the front that hangs kind of slightly ajar with a busted lock hanging off one side. Wait, like, it has a wrought iron fence and a wicker gate? What's up with this wizard? He was a he was a black sheep from a family that had a lot of money. Alright. He also, also just doesn't, doesn't have good design sense. He's a wizard, right? He doesn't need design sense. You you notice that the tower as well, as you begin to get closer, is not as big as you thought it was from far away. It 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 looks to have like Force perspective. Yeah, it, it looks to have less height than you'd expect. Okay. And at the very top, rather than uh, windows, which, by the way, you can't see a single opening on the tower, except for at the very top, there are uh, space-like openings at the top, sort of like a lighthouse would have, mm -hmm. except there's no panes or anything, just stone columns uh, in the second part. And uh, if you peer closely up into, the, up into that part, you can see that there are wide stone columns at the top of it. Okay. Inside. Have the vines torn through the wicker so it's open now? Torn through the what? The wicker. Oh, um, partially. The gate's hanging ajar, in okay. any case. Well, let's push through. Yeah. So you guys, you know, walk through the city, getting closer to it, and you see the shadow forms, like, following you. And it's obviously, like, keepers who are not as great at stealth watching over you as you go forward. But you don't run into any... Are they going to follow us into the place? What? Into the tower? They said they went. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. They're, 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 they're going to be there to report our deaths. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually you guys They'll get to the, do that. to the edge of Athacordia right next to Maluvio's tower and the <clears throat> halfling agents retreat back into the shadows mm, and leave okay. you on your own. Sure they do. So the gate hangs slightly ajar in front of you. <laughs> Continue. Why is this so funny? Okay, he's looking at stuff. He's watching a video. Oh. <laughs> Spit it out. Spit it out. Tacky. Yeah. Tacky. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's real. It's Reddit slash R slash real life doodles. <sighs> anyway, they're they're amazing. Get out of here. It was very cute. Oh yeah, the dog. Goddamn puppy. 